Back peddlers. We are in Belgium oh, at the campsite, which isn't a campsite, but it's a house. How nice is that? No tents, nothing to pitch, just ready to go. Welcome back peddlers. It's been a while since I released a video and a lot has happened in the meantime. We don't have a clubhouse anymore. And I have been working on a very special personal project, which is the sponsor of today's video. You heard it. The sponsor of today's video is me, myself and I. Most of you might have heard that I am actually a game developer by trade and that is my day job and I've been working really hard on a personal project and I just released it the other week. It's called Paper Runner and it's an endless runner and for everyone who has an Android phone you can download it right now. It's free and it would really help me out and the channel out if you gave it a rating if you like it and perhaps even watch an ad or two. Huh? Anyway, Paper Runner is available for download on the Google Play Store right now. And now, back to the video. For some reason, this weekend seems to be cursed. Well, it might not actually be cursed, but the previous time that we went, which was starting 2020, the water was so high that we had to skip a lot of the things that usually get paddled during that weekend. And this time around, well, you guessed it, the water was too low. So where I had hoped this weekend would be sort of a redemption tour of what we did in 2020 and I really get to sort of test out the skills that I picked up during the previous time period, it actually was just really relaxing. On the first day that meant that most of our time was spent traveling and getting to the campsite. Luckily, right behind the campsite is the Oort. So even after driving for a good four hours, and thanks Alex for that, we were able to put in a battle. That meant there was still enough water for a nice quote-unquote warm-up pedal, especially for the new people that we had with us. And even though the Urte wasn't as rowdy as I had hoped it would have been, I could still implement everything that I had learned in the past year or so. Practicing on man-made tracks like Hardeberg is still really, really different than pedaling on an actual river, low water or not. The 
water was pretty darn cold, so I was happy that I wasn't the first to take a swim. And spoiler alert, I didn't take a swim at all this weekend. Which is a stark comparison to the previous trip where a lot of us swam a lot and had a lot of run-ins with trees and such, but it might not have been that weird considering the low water volume. It was actually one of the new pillars that we had with us who edged the wrong way when eddying out. It happens. I was just generally really feeling comfortable and I got into it right away and so I was definitely going to take every opportunity to practice, play and just make the most out of it. Just like that, our trip had ended. In the end, we did well over two hours for just two kilometers of water, which is a feat in and by itself. Oh. Mm. Okay. And even though the water was low, there weren't that many rapids and it was just an easy and relaxing river, I had a blast, an absolute a ton of fun. So if this was a precursor to what the weekend would have in store for us, count me in. And that's it for today, peddlers. Stick around for part two of the Whitewater Weekend Series videos. And remember, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Click that subscribe button right now, especially if you made it this far into the video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the water soon. And don't forget to pedal on. I also have a new studio. Again. 
So we had like, well, basically this is my old studio, right? With my logo up there and a giant sword. 